It's still summer, but high school football season is officially underway. Week one brought us Utica versus Port Huron and Eisenhower versus Oak Park. Let's see how these teams did. Utica taking on the Port Huron Big Reds. Fourth down and one. Darren Pagasic, and he gets 15. Darren Pagasic taking matters into his own hands with a 15-yard touchdown run. Later on in the first, Kavan Higdon, end around. 25 yards into the end zone. They're up 14 to nothing. Port Huron finally getting on the board. Noah Kindle launches this one skyward. Jump ball in the corner of the end zone. Marquand Curitan. Utica driving third quarter from their own 20. Darren Pagasic and launches a bomb to Kavan Higdon. No one's there to catch him. 80 yards, touchdown, 21 to six. Later on, to put them up 28 to six, Leonard Kasem rumbles into the end zone. Some shifty running here by Noah Kindle. All the way down to the two yard line, setting up this. Kindle forcing his way into Pager to bring us to our final score. Utica Chieftains, 28, Port Huron Big Reds, 13. Meanwhile, on Saturday, Eisenhower traveled to Wayne State to take on Oak Park. Second down. Sweep right, Max Whitwer. Pitch out to Asad Buhaydar. And he gets to the corner. In for seven the points. To number one, Asad Buhaydar. Now Whitwer. Faking out everyone. Skipping into the end zone to make it 14 to nothing. Late in the second quarter, Dewan Mathis back to pass. Ending up in the hands of Gary Gale. And Oak Park is on the board. We go into halftime. Eisenhower 14, Oak Park 7. Eisenhower would get the ball first, but their drive would stall out. Taking on three, Asad Buhaydar with a 28 yard field goal. Oak Park trying to make a game out of it. Oak Park deep in Eisenhower territory. Reaching for the goal line. But it pops loose. And it's Eisenhower's ball. And they would make them pay for that mistake. Max Whitwer. Bombing this one to Ian Canelli. Oak Park would try to rally late. But what falls short? Final score. Eisenhower Eagles 24, Oak Park Knights 7. Pass intended for Bowen has been complete. And with the great start both of those teams had, Shelby TV will bring you games throughout the season.